guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making a beginner friendly granny square bandana and today i am using karen one pound and then i forgot to show it but i'm also using a red heart yarn in petal pink and we are going to be using a six millimeter hook today so go ahead and attach your yarn to your hook and we are going to start by making a granny square so if you don't know how to make a granny square that's perfectly okay it is very simple and very beginner friendly i do have a video tutorial on how to make a granny square so just go ahead and watch that video first and then come back to this one So for the granny square, go ahead and do four rows. So once you have completed your four rows of your granny square, go ahead and cut your yarn and fasten off. I am going to be showing you how to do a half granny square in this video. We are going to be um, crocheting two of those. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's literally half of granny square and it basically forms two triangles which is going to make the shape of our bandana. So you will start just like a granny square and chain five and slip stitch close and then you will chain three for that first double crochet and then you'll chain one just to give yourself a little space and then go ahead and double crochet three, chain two, double crochet three, chain one, and finish off with another double crochet. So after the first round, it should look like a triangle and you should have like a little cluster of double crochets resembling the corner of a granny square. Now we are going to turn our work, chain three again for that first double crochet. And then now that we have our spaces like in a granny square, go ahead and put three double crochets into that chain one space. After that first row, we don't have to do the chain one anymore to create spaces. And then once you get to the corner, you will do your double cro double crochet clusters like you normally would on a granny square. And then you'll do another three double crochets in that next chain one space. And then put one double crochet into the top of your previous um, chain three space or double crochet from the first round. Thank you. 
So here's what it looks like at this point. Like I said, we are going to do half of our granny square, so we are going to need two more rows. So go ahead and complete two more rows of this, and we will meet back here. So now we finished our half granny square, and we can go ahead and cut our yarn and fasten off. And we are going to adhere it to our main granny square with a slip stitch. When slip stitching granny squares or half granny squares together, I do only use the outside loops and leave the inside ones untouched because when you unfold them or flatten them out, they do lay a lot flatter. So once you're done slip stitching these and attaching them, go ahead and cut and fasten off your yarn. And now you can go ahead and work on that other half granny square and also attach it to your main granny square. At this point, I have attached my other half granny square to my main one and we are not going to fasten off here. We are going to chain one and continue crocheting we're going to go ahead and work on our border now so go ahead and chain up one loop for this first round we are going to be using half double crochets so we are going to be putting one half double crochet into like this middle part where they meet one half double crochet into the chain two spaces and then after that just one half double crochet per stitch Once you reach this corner of our granny square, go ahead and do one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet, and then go ahead and continue just doing one half double crochet per stitch.
Once we reach the last stitch of our half granny square, we are going to do a half double crochet, chain two, and then another half double crochet into that stitch to form a corner. And then from here on out, we are going to be doing two half double crochets per the sides of our double crochets from those squares. Once you reach this little chain two space from the um, original granny square, go ahead and put two half double crochets in there as well. So once we slip stitch this round close, I'm going to switch back to my peach yarn and we are going to do the same thing like I did with the previous round, but instead of half double crochets, I'm going to switch to single crochets. For the chain two space at the top of our bandana, which is like our point, I am going to do two double crochets, a chain two, and then two more double crochets, and then continue on with single crochets.
Now we are going to do another row of single crochets. Continue working the corners as we have done in the previous rows. Now for this last round, we are going to be doing a pico stitch to give it like a really pretty trim. And we're also going to be working on the ties. To create a pico, it's super simple. We're just going to chain three and slip stitch back into that same stitch. And it's going to give it like a really cute, like little, almost like a little ball at the end um, as a trim. And then go ahead and slip stitch into the next four stitches and then continue the pico until we get to the corner. And then I'll show you what to do there. So once we get closer to the corner, it's only going to allow you to slip stitch into two. Before you reach the corner, that's perfectly fine. You're going to go ahead and slip stitch two, picot in that corner, slip stitch another two to match the other side, create your picot, and then you can continue the pattern as we were previously all the way to the other side.
So once we reach back to this first corner on the base side of our bandana, we are going to chain for the strap. So go ahead and slip stitch into that corner space. Um, you can chain as many as you like depending on how long you want the ties. I ended up doing 70. So now that we have our chain, we are going to slip stitch down into the fourth chain from hook to kind of match the Pico trim. And then you're going to slip stitch down all the way back to that corner to reinforce the tie. Now you can continue on with the trim and repeat the same thing on the other corner for your second tie. Mm. So now that we've made it back to our original starting point, you can go ahead and slip stitch close to finish this round. And you can cut and fasten off your yarn and go ahead and weave in all of your ends. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video and made an item of your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we'll stay tuned for my next video.